Seems like quite a quiet day in there, Phnom Penh. You've got that lovely temple there. This is the riverside area, obviously. And over here, it's really, really ideal place if you want a quick haircut. So, why the hell not? Okay, so it's time for a haircut. Okay. You all that. I want to film me getting. Just hold it. No, just hold it. Hold it. I want to film it. It's probably getting my hair cut. Take a line now, Bong. Hold the hog. Come on, it's just hold it. Have it all, man. Hold the hog, man. Not a bad haircut, anyway. Not a bad haircut. Really good guy, this. Really nice guy, this. There you go, a roadside uh, uh, barber, and he's a really, really cool guy. Come, take a picture. Come, take a picture. There you go, and his friend there, his, his delightful friend there. Okay, this is what Nam Pen's all about. Nice, but nice people, great service, and um, very, very convenient. Okay, so it's time for my daily walk. Uh, Phnom Penh is um, it's a city that's very, very easy to walk around, and. Uh, I like a good walk in the daytime because it helps uh, build up a sweat, a bit of exercise. It puts me on the right view for my afternoon cold beers. Oh. What's that? It's off me to, to, to wet. No, sorry, I don't need any scales. I already know that I'm fat. It's a nice little restaurant here. Well, I think they're nice anyway. Okay, now I was in Angry Birds Bar last night, and uh, it was, you know, I've heard that that's uh, quite a good little, um, uh, you know, girly bar, basically. 130 isn't a street that I use very often, but anyway, uh, I went in there, and um, I was, uh, th this was a Saturday night, and there was no other customers in there. There was quite a few, um, you know, you know, ladies in there. Now I've got to tell you that um, I was in there, and a girl approached me. She's about 30 years of age, nice bit of cleavage and all of that. She approached me and it opening line to me was, this was at the bar, it opening line was, I love you long time. And I thought to myself, oh my God, how corny is that? I mean, Jesus, I mean, you know, that's, that's a complete turn off. That's like a salesman knocking on your door and his opening line is, um, I'm gonna try and sell you something. No, it doesn't work, so that put me off, that did. But anyway, I met another nice young lady, um, very, very nice. And uh, yeah, we you know, bought a few lady drinks and we made an arrangement, yeah. But then I had an idea why there was no other customers in there and no other men on a Saturday night. Uh, the bar fine, when I come to pay the bar fine, it was 15 US dollars. Now, 15 US dollars, it's only ever been 10, uh, you know, at the most anywhere. So I don't know where 15 US dollars comes from. But if that's what they do there, and bear in mind this was a Saturday night, they may vary on other nights, but um, you know, 15 US dollars for the bar fan, it may explain why there were no other customers in there, uh, you know. But anyway, uh, met a nice young lady in Angry Birds last night, and uh, yeah, nice young lady, quite satisfied with that. Sharky's Bar, there's been mixed reviews about that one. I went in there once, about 10 years ago, and never again since. Uh, I don't know, maybe time to give it another try. 
I know some I haven't come ac across before. Sharky's Cigar Lounge and Cocktail Bar. So it's the two Sharky's bars here now. Well, it looks like it. Okay, so I'm on 51 Street now, and this is the brand new complex, uh, Pub Street complex, which is um, replacing, hopefully for the better, the old um, Golden Sawyer Mall. Well, it's sure looking nice. You see that uh, that mall? This area has always been full of very, very skanky people, skanky ladies. They were out to rob your mobile phone, your wallet, whatever they can get their hands on. I wouldn't trust any, anyone around here, absolutely no one. It's always been a bit notorious, but it's looking nice. Obviously a lot of these bars haven't been uh, bought yet, so... Not a great deal happening right now. Well, I wonder... I wonder um, when it's all up and running, will it be a bit safer than uh, it was previously? Only time will tell. Okay, so I've had to walk around town, built up a bit of a sweat, and now it's time for uh, a nice meal and, uh, and of course the obligatory few beers. This is 13th Street, this is. Very, very close to the street where I'm staying. Yeah, it's coming towards uh, late afternoon, there's plenty of activity here. Nice lady, this. It always helps when you've got a lady who can speak really, really good English in a restaurant. <laughs> so there's someone with car, but she's really lovely. She is. Anyway, the Cabas restaurant. I've been uh, been there the last couple of days, and I uh, I would recommend it. So uh, let's have a look at the menu. Well, I suppose on the menu there's a good start, anyway, isn't it? Mostly. Uh, Western stuff here. That looks interesting. Red fish or chicken breast and chips. Ch chicken breast and chips for uh, $3.99. That sounds good to me. $3.99. That's a good start. Yeah, reasonable price. Nice food. You've got a uh, 
pasta, you've also got um, Asian dishes. On a Sunday afternoon, I don't think I'm really in the mood for Asian dishes. Leave that to another time. Asian stir fried. I had a nice um, vegetable red curry yesterday uh, with rice and I also had it with chips and garlic bread and uh, that went down well. So red curry and steamed rice with add, add beef to it and it comes out at uh, $3.99. Okay now this is the, uh, the first installment of my dinner and it's looking uh, lovely. What did I order again? Oh yeah stir fry yeah. Stir fry with beef, yeah? Looking good. Uh, now the uh, second installment of my dinner has arrived. Chicken pieces uh, with uh, chips. Looks good to me. Looks like a very, very nice combination. Okay, so that's a lovely meal. It was uh, three bears, a um, stir fry beef. It was uh, chicken breast with chips. Oh yeah, and a glass of wine which uh, I was obviously, uh, you, you know, uh, too inebriated to show you. So the total bill is coming up. Yeah. Those are 20? Tw uh, no, I think yeah. that's 12. She keeps saying 20. I think she means 12, yeah. <laughs> but she's, she speaks, she, this young lady, this lovely young lady speaks good English. I don't speak any Khmer, okay? Oh, so you want the Khmer? You don't Khmer? No. We, we can take you like the hello. And the Khmer say Suzday, so Suzday. Yeah. 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 And the thank you. And the Khmer, they say Khmer. Yeah. So I'm good. Yeah, well that, yeah, that sounds very, very good. Except I think I'm, I'm too old to be start, you know, learning stuff like stuff like that. And and besides, you know, you know, I like too much alcohol. Alcohol kills the brain cells, and you know, it, it isn't very, very good for learning things. You know what I mean? So I think I'll stick to. Um, English and, and what, whatever. But anyway, that was a lovely meal. I had a uh, nice few beers, wine and all that kind of stuff. A beautiful meal, really impressed with that. Yeah. Nice, nice restaurant. And there's, yeah, I'll put that in the tips box Thank anyway, because I'm not really that bad, you know what I mean? That's my cat's phrase, that is. I'm not really that bad, okay? Do you hear that? My cat's phrase. I'm not really that bad. Honestly, I'm not. Cheers. Oh, lovely.